Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to Crypto India and this is your host Shiv. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a tutorial for a wallet called Exodus Wallet. And I understand the fact that there are a lot many people who are still getting started. And there will be many more people who will be getting started into cryptocurrencies. And as you buy, buy, start buying more and more tokens, more and more coins, the second question that you have is where do you store them? You need a multi-currency wallet. So I found Exodus is a very cool wallet if you are storing your funds um, on the desktop, not on the smartphone. So this is a desktop wallet, remember that. And it is a multi cryptocurrency wallet. So as you can see, it supports multiple cryptocurrencies like this, Aragon, Bad, Bitcoin Cash, Civic, Das, EOS. And very simple to use. And uh, But there are a few things that you should definitely be taking care of before you actually setting before you actually setting up the exodus wallets and that is what we are going to talk about so uh, it's very simple uh, to install the exodus wallet there is a there's a url that they have you have to go on the, to their website click on the download exodus wallet and it starts downloading on your computer on your io mac or windows once that is done that it has done it will open up like this okay now once it opens up like this there is something called as backup Okay, I'm not going to click on this because this has my uh, other details. So, but uh, I'll just tell you how it looks like. So the first thing, uh, again, you will not be able to back up this wallet till the time you have sent some funds. Okay, so all that you need to do is uh, first, when you, when you go to the wallet, like you have so many other options here. I mean, you can also add a few coins here. Like these are the coins which are already added. So let's like say this is not added. So I can add this here. I can add this here. I can add this here. So it will all show up in my uh, wallet now over here. You know, over here. It's showing up here now. So this is how you can add. I, I mean, you can only add the cryptocurrencies which, which for which they have an option. So you, for example, I do not have Ripple. This they haven't added Ripple as yet. Uh, so they have uh, Bitcoin Cash, they have Litecoin, they have, they don't have even Neo. Neo anyway has its own cryptocurrencies anyway. So this is basically, uh, these are the cryptocurrencies you can store. Now, in order to back it up, so before you could back it up, you need to send some amount of address. As you can see, I've just sent a small amount just to test this wallet, which is $5.90. Uh, and I, this was an Ethereum which I've sent uh, to this address. So after you have sent this, it takes you on a, a the very important thing over here to note is to click on backup and back it up. What happens is tomorrow if anything goes wrong with your uh, computer, with your PC, then you may lose your fund if you have not backed it up, right? So let's understand how do you back it up. So when you click on backup, backup there are four options that you get, okay? As soon as you click on backup, uh, you the first option the first screen is you have to enter your password and then you have to confirm your password now what is this password for so let's say tomorrow you have to restore this wallet restore this funds on some any other computer maybe mac or maybe some other windows computer you have lost access to this computer where you're holding the funds on the password is what you will need to restore your funds so very very important here if you're told you have to access exodus wallets you have to make sure that you never ever forget your password always remember they're not going to send you any password link reset link so if you've forgotten your password you've forgotten all you've forgotten your funds so keep a password that you can remember make a note of the password and keep it somewhere safe with you do not ever forget your password the moment you forget your password Again, I'm repeating this and if you want to access your funds on some other computer, you won't be able to access your funds on the other computer if you don't provide the password. So remember the password. So the first screen is when you click on, click on backup here, the first screen you get is password and then you have to confirm the password and then you will be getting a 12 words phase again which you have to make a note of. Either you can print or either you can make a note of that in a piece of paper and keep that safe. So password and phrase are both very very important and then what you do is uh, the fourth screen you'll be getting is enter email backup password this is where they will be sending you a link to you know uh, in order to 
restore your file so let's say this email link is not about the password okay this email link is a backup link so there is a difference here you have to be very very sure about what i'm saying right now okay so it's enter email backup not the inter email password okay so this email that they're going to send you the link that they're going to send you on the link is to back up your wallet and, and that is not to reset your passwords and in order to back up your wallet you will need your password i hope that is very clear so uh yeah so what happens is when you uh back it up and when you have put in your email address once they have sent you the link on your email address that is you have to make sure that you're keeping that link safe that backup link safe as well as you're keeping your password safe as well as you're keeping your 12 words face safe once you have made sure that this, these are all safe then you can go ahead and keep more funds on this you know so let's have a look at some of the features that they have so as i said they have multiple cryptocurrencies here that they support apart from that uh, uh, the best thing that they have here is so in order to send or receive a cryptocurrency all you have to do is you have to select and send and receive for example if i have to do bitcoin i can send uh, which address do you want me to send it to amount and click on send simple as that same stands for dash send receive so pretty cool i mean you look at the uh, interface here it's very user friendly and very uh, attractive interface that they've made the coolest feature that i found here is an exchange so let's say i have some ethereum here right so if i let's say if i want that ethereum to be converted into bitcoin i can do that right away you know so let's say whatever amount i want to convert that into bitcoin that can happen instantly and uh, and then i have an option right let's, let's say if i want to convert my ethereum into uh, dash or maybe i want to convert into yours then i just uh, so let's let's take an example so 0 0.01 uh, it says not enough friends okay so anyway it's the smallest one that's just, just just for the trial i've kept so you can actually exchange that so in order to you don't have to actually go to an exchange you can exchange it right here and i just believe that there is no transactional fee i don't think so they haven't mentioned anything like that so i don't think so and you will be able to see that here completely so uh, you are exchanging so many years you are you will receive so many uh okay so this is exchange okay i was doing actually let's try this so i'm exchanging i want to receive yours so how many i want to receive let's say okay so they are saying the exchange minimum is 0 0.032769 so this is how it works very cool feature i've not seen this feature in many of the other wallets. many of wallets so this is a very cool feature another thing is here that when you click on uh, portfolio of course this shows the total total of all the cryptocurrencies here and over here if you click this is a very cool feature that i found so over here you saw the assets you can add and delete plus you can also localize it so let's say if i don't want this in usd i want it in probably uh uh let's say i want it in rupees right inr so i have an option here so this is worth rupees 366 inr this is what i liked again so you don't have to do any calculation it, it will localize according to your local cryptocurrency british pound 4.49 gbp and then you have uh this is a very cool feature and then you have the singapore dollar you have uh, it's fun it's fun to actually uh, keep it changing and see the value into different cryptocurrency plus you have also skins you know so i can use this skin right now i'm using this so i can also use padded like this so the screen changes i can dusk i uh, see uh, how i can change the theme so these are some fun features that they have added which is very cool and uh, of course uh, this can be the safest wallet if you are able to keep your desktop safe and if you are able to keep the uh, remember your password keep that as safe and the backup phase so that's uh, i think exodus wallet is really cool otherwise very easy way to access your multiple cryptocurrencies in order to have uh, and uh, if you're not 
keeping them on the phone the desktop when it comes to desktop maybe this is the wallet that you can choose from right that's it for now guys let me know uh, how did you like this video this, if this was helpful if you have any questions you can put that in the comment box and i hope this was helpful do share this video with your friends who are getting started and there will be many more people who will be getting started in cryptocurrencies in future and i i just hope that this video will be helpful for them so thank you so much for watching and hit the subscribe button if you're not hit the like button so that more and more people can reach out for this video and i will see you in my next video thank you